Last year, drivers suffered through three different big winter storms. They coated city roads and state highways and left drivers stranded for hours. A snow apocalypse, snow, snowmageddon, uh, a pain in the butt, uh, all of that I think would have right. won. Seems like these moved the state to start using salt on Highway 26 when needed, and now the city will use salt too. If it works, do it. Several people I met today said, go for it. The snow is the devil's dandruff, and last year that snow cost me a broken shoulder, so I think anything they can do to make it safer is a great thing. For decades, city leaders resisted salt, worried that runoff would hurt the environment. Even after last year, not everyone's a fan. Uh, I'm on the fence. Yeah, honestly, I think, you know, we could try it out really intensively and see how it works this year. And then uh, depending on how our cars look uh, over a couple of years, then we'll probably change it back. But for now, the city has 300 tons of salt ready to go and will prioritize some of the worst roads, including West Burnside, Sam Jackson Road, Terwilliger Boulevard, Skyline Boulevard, Germantown Road, Southeast 112th and Mount Scott Boulevard, and North Going. Portland has a reputation of gridlock when the snow falls. Just ask Megan Churchward, who recently moved here from Indiana. Hearing about this city being shut down, so it's a little nerve-wracking. City leaders hope using that salt and several other tools will keep that from happening this year. We'll see. The city also has plans to get more trucks on more roads more quickly, and they promise they're going to tow autos more quickly if they're abandoned. On the flip side, if you're parked downtown at a meter or in a garage when a storm hits, you can stay there for free until the storm's over. Back to you.